Hey guys, so in this video, I wanted to talk about getting meaningful rest. So the past two and a half weeks, I was in the countryside in Switzerland. I didn't really do much in the terms of tourist activities. I had two day trips where I, one day I went to Lausanne and one day I went to Geneva. And that was basically a lot of um, like my going out and interacting and like going to museums and stuff. And then the rest of the time I was basically on a chillcation. I didn't give myself things to do. I think I spent a day or two on editing and filming, but besides that, I was just kind of existing. And my first week there, I had never, I've never in my life, I think felt that rested as an adult that I can remember. I wasn't going on TikTok, I wasn't scrolling endlessly on YouTube or Tumblr. I wasn't looking for something to fill my time because I was able to actively do something that didn't involve me being on my phone. So I kind of wanted to talk about taking time to get meaningful rest. And it's very privileged of me to be able to do that and have done that. And for me to do it in the future, it's something that you have to be in the right situation and all everything has to kind of just work out right. And I am aware of that. And it's something that I need to acknowledge as I go forward, like the privilege I have and how I'm traveling and how I'm able to exist. But the way I felt rested, uh, it's kind of something I wanna keep doing and kind of in maintaining even when I am in different places and when I might be busier. So now I'm in Basel, Switzerland. Um, it's the German speaking part of Switzerland. I'm a lot closer to town. I'm a lot closer to a bunch of things to do when before it was a bit difficult for me to get places. So when I went to Geneva, that took two hours or when I went to Lausanne, I took an hour and a half for me to get there. So that took up a large chunk of my day and a lot of my energy to actually go and do something because I have talked about how um, on this channel, how I don't actually like to go and do things. I like to go and do things, but it's getting out of the front door that's the most difficult for me. So that's something I am working on. And when I was there and I was getting meaningful rest, I found it was something easier for me to go outside and do things when I wasn't putting pressure on those things and I made them into a routine. So to get meaningful rest and taking the time to do that, one of the things I did a lot was um, I had to walk the dog of the house I was staying at twice a day and sometimes we were out for as little as like half an hour, sometimes we were out for two and a half to three hours. and. I really enjoyed it because um, it made me get outside and it made me um, explore where I was. Me and the dog would take different trails every time so I got to see a little bit more of the village I was staying in and I wasn't having to occupy my mind with a phone in my hand and I was able to exercise, get like, sunlight, fresh air which sounds pretty silly when I talk about it like that, but I've spent so much of my childhood and then my adulthood having to occupy myself on a computer because of where I am and maybe lack of resources and aspects like a car or public transportation. So being able to just go and walk without having to worry about like getting hit by a car or because Switzerland's very safe, be getting kidnapped or someone mugging me is a very safe area and I had a dog. So people don't really mess with you. He's a, he's a he was a bit aggressive um, towards strangers. So I would always know like if something would happen, he'd have my back. Um, so just kind of feeling safe, I guess is what I'm saying, is one way to get meaningful rest. So walking, exercising, less screen time. I think my screen time, the two and a half weeks I went was there, went down like sixty percent, which that's a crazy amount. Um, I know since I've been here in Basel, my screen time has gone up again and I don't know if it's mostly because I'm just getting used to where this place is and I'm doing a lot of research, I've been doing work. Um, 
kind of having to get used to where I am again. Um, and then another way that I was getting meaningful rest is that I was interacting with the environment I was in. I was going out to the garden and picking fruits and vegetables, getting mint to make lemonade. Um, I also noticed the only grocery store that was close that was within like half an hour walking distance was an all natural food store. So the food I was eating was organic. Um, the milk and yogurt was from that town, the eggs were from that town, the f vegetables were from that town. So I was eating like in season um, and from my surrounding area. So everything was fresh. So I really enjoyed that. Um, since I've been here in Switzerland, I've had, I think, meat three or four times. Um, and it's usually when the host's family is cooking. I'm not a vegetarian, but since I've been here, I've basically become one because meat's just so expensive. But I can honestly say I have felt better since I have stopped eating meat. And I kind of want to maybe keep that going when I go to the UK or back to America where meat would be more affordable. Um, and then I was also taking time to sit in the backyard and read a book. So I had two books with me when I was, um, two books with me when I was at that house in Switzerland. I haven't finished reading them because I also read books on my laptop, but The Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. Yanagihara. Um, I'm only on page 168, 169. Um, this is my train book. So this book, I know it's kind of big, but it fits on the front um, pocket of my backpack. So when I am on the train going between the houses, so when I went from um, Zurich to Lausanne, I had this and I read it. And then when I went from Lausanne to Basel, I was reading it. So this is kind of my train book which it's, I know this is a book that a lot of people talk about, um, about how it emotionally destroyed them. And I had to say, when I was on the train from Lausanne to Basel, I did start crying um, on the train. And I felt really awkward because there's a guy who kind of looked at me and I was just like trying to wipe away my tears. They were falling into my mask. And I was just like, nope, nope. Okay, so I'm gonna try and finish reading that while I'm here in Basel. So I don't try on trains and embarrass strangers and myself. And then also while I was in um, that place at that house to get in meaning for us, I was reading What We Owe to Each Other by T.M. Scanlon. I've been reading this book for a while. This is what the TV show The Good Place um, is kind of based off of. So What We Owe Each Other, this is like the book that kind of ends with the series and it's about moral philosophy and right and wrong and kind of how we argue that. Um, it's very dense and I would just kind of read this outside, get through a page or two and then have to sit and think about it because I'm like, wait, what does that actually mean? And I would give myself to process, give myself time to process that information instead of just going, oh, I don't understand that and moving on which is something I felt like I did in college just because I didn't have time to actively take in material and process it. So I was just doing a lot of regurgitation instead of thinking up a response. So taking time to get meaningful rest wasn't just me um, like being Zen and not really um, interacting with information, but it was me taking information thinking about it and being able to process it more and get a better understanding. And it's something that I wish I would have known about earlier in my life, um, instead of rushing through things, taking time to understand them. And I feel like this book and this book are kind of, kind of helped me do that. This book, I just have to say, the writing in it is beautiful. Um, I, I like how the characters are described how it flows. It feels like when I'm reading it, the words aren't words in my head. They kind of flow like a waterfall and it's a very enjoyable experience. It's very well written. 
so I'm excited to see how that ends. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of, um, kind of what my life was like when I was doing that sit for two and a half weeks in um, a village in Switzerland. I want to keep in mind in the future that getting meaningful rest is different than just resting. Because before I was there, I was in Zurich and I kind of just felt off some days and I would spend it watching like The Walking Dead or Netflix. Like I think I got through like two Netflix original series. I think it was Young Royals and Deadly Class. But even though I had spent the day on the couch watching TV, I didn't feel rested. I just felt bad. And it wasn't until I was actively exercising, eating better, taking time to process and acknowledge information that I actually felt rested. And I think that is something that I have to acknowledge and keep in mind as I go into the future. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a nice week. Bye.